This is Richard Harkness speaking from the NBC newsroom in Washington. The new emergency peace session of Congress has just received President Truman's legislative reconversion program. The President's message, 16,000 words long, is being read now in the Senate and House. Mr. Truman's program contains 21 major recommendations for congressional action. These recommendations range all the way from the controversial full employment bill, which he wants passed, to a suggestion that members of Congress raise their own salary. Well, here with me in our Washington studio are Robert McCormick and Lee Feed. Now, I will summarize the President's message for you. Mr. McCormick will discuss in more detail the military aspects with emphasis on veterans. And Mr. Reed will give you a report on the reconversion of the country economically from war to peace. Now, the President's message to Congress, looking at it generally, is rather a New Deal program. It is the kind of post-war plan we might expect from President Roosevelt were he alive today. On post-war employment, Mr. Truman makes these recommendations. He wants Congress to pass two bills now pending. The measure increasing with federal funds, unemployment compensation to $25 a week, and the full employment bill with its provisions for definite spending to make jobs. As a third recommendation for labor, the President wants Congress to raise the basic minimum wage of workers above the present 40 cent an hour legal ceiling. And also, on the subject of human reconversion, Mr. Truman wants the Fair Employment Practices Committee made permanent. And that, of course, will touch off a fight. He wants the Labor Department strengthened. And that, of course, would mean the end of the War Labor Board. And he wants the Employment Service kept in the hands of the government, at least for the post-war emergency. The President favors, too, a big nationwide housing program for low-income workers. He asked, too, for a major public works program to make jobs. 